come to standing. Lift and roll your shoulders, setting them back down away from your ears. Turn your head to the left, turn your head to the right. Left and right and left and right. Come back to the centre. Breathing in, raise your right arm up, stretch up, and then breathing out, lower your right arm. Breathing in, raise your left arm, stretch up. Breathing out, lower your left arm. Breathing in, raise the right arm, stretch up, press your feet down. Breathe out, turn your head to the left. Breathe in, bring your head back to centre and breathe out, lower your right arm. Breathing in, raise your left arm, stretch up. Breathing out, turn your head to the right. Breathe in, bring your head back to centre and breathing out, lower your left arm. Lift and roll your shoulders. Breathing in, raise both arms. Clasp and reverse. Palms upwards. Press your feet down. Breathing out, go to the left. Breathing in, come to the centre. And breathing out, go to the right. Come to the centre. Breathing out, turn slightly to the left. Come to the centre and breathing out, turn slightly to the right. And then come to the centre. Just lift your heels, testing your balance today. And then breathing out, lower your heels and lower your arms to shoulder height. Breathing out, turn your head to the left. Breathe into the centre. And breathing out, turn your head to the right. Come to the centre and lower your hands. Lift and roll your shoulders. Turn your head to the left. Centre and turn your head to the right. And once more, left. Centre and right. And come to the centre. And then step your feet a little bit to hip width apart and just a very gentle swaying from side to side. Come to slow down and then gently come to the centre. Bring your feet back a little bit closer towards one another. Breathing in, raise your right arm, drop it behind you and slide your left hand up. Just feel the stretch under the arm. Take a breath in and out. And then just cross over, holding your left elbow with your right hand and just feel the stretch at the back of your arm and then release. Bring your hands to your collarbones and breathing in, open your hands outwards, breathing out, hands back to the collarbones. Breathing in, hands out, and breathing out, hands back. Breathing in, hands forward, and breathing out, hands back. Just circle your elbows forward. 
the aim would be to touch, but I do realize that's quite a stretch. And then when you're ready, circle your elbows backwards. And then drop your hands. Raise your arms up, palms touch. Bring your palms through the center to your heart center and carry on through as you bend your knees, touching your hands to the ground or your shins, breathing in, lengthen your spine from the tailbone to the top of the head. Breathe out, bend your knees and press your feet into the ground as you roll up to standing. Hands up, touch, and once more, bringing your palms through your center, bending, touching your hands either to the floor or to your shins. Once you're there, breathe in and lengthen along the spine. Breathe out, soften your knees, press your feet into the ground, and roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Lift and roll your shoulders. Bring your hands to your heart and then very gently bend to come to a seated cross leg position. And once you're there, if crossing your legs doesn't suit you, then just have your feet out. Come to place your hands either on your knees or just below as you sit up and then breathing out round your chin to chest. Sitting up, rounding chin to chest. And sitting up, lengthening your spine and then breathing out rounding chin to chest. Come to a natural seated position and breathing in, turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. In to the left. And to the right as you breathe out. Come back to the centre. Just gently close your eyes for a moment and reflect. What am I grateful for? It's a perspective. And see somebody in your mind's eye who you wish well, and well for health and for happiness. And the movements that we've been doing has, have been coordinating the movement with the breath. So that slows our breath. And we start to attune to the subtle body, which is our emotions and our other aspects of our thought process and mental processes. Just take a breath in and out. And just be aware of how you're sitting, if you've slouched forward. And then very gently we're going to come to tabletop. So coming onto our hands and knees. Hands are shoulder width apart and spreading your fingers, particularly pressing into your thumb and second finger. And your fingers can move slightly out to the edges of the mat in terms of where the fingers point or straight ahead. And then your knees are hip width apart. And we start with a very classic dipping the back as you breathe in, cat either looking up or along the mat, breathing out round the back, chin to chest, cam. Repeat this a few times, breathing in as you dip your back, and breathing out as you round your back, cam. You're beginning to warm through the spine, and again, your movement correlates with your breath. So this begins to have an impact on your nervous system 
as it slows down. And then come to neutral. Tuck your toes, tummy in, lower abdomen in towards the spine. Engage your perineum a little bit, and then come into a soft downward dog. Keep your knees bent to lengthen your spine, and then you can start to straighten your legs. They have to be totally straight and widen your feet, perhaps. And then swaying your bottom from side to side as you walk the dog. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Tummy in, perineum engages here. Stretch both feet back, your heels don't have to touch the ground at all, just aim on lengthening your spine, bottom up to the ceiling. And then bend both knees to come back down to the mat. Hands go to the left and step up with your right foot. Hands either side of your right foot and just stretch into the right thigh. Bring your knee back to a 90 degree angle and use your hands to support you to walk your hands up your right leg to come up to kneeling. If you find that you're wobbling on your balance, just bring your right foot slightly out further towards the edge of the mat. Place your right hand on your right waist, which opens up the right shoulder, and your left hand can either go straight up in front of you, or if you would like a greater twist, then bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, and just twist, turning to look to the right, and just take an in and an out breath here. Come back to the centre and raise your hands in a cactus arm, so not quite so high this time. And then breathing out, bring both hands either side of your right foot and slide your right foot back to tabletop. Breathing in, dipping your back. And breathing out, rounding the back, chin to chest. And again, breathing in, dipping your back. And breathing out, rounding chin to chest. Come back to neutral. Move your hands to the right, and that gives space for your left foot to step your left foot up to the front of the mat, and then hands either side of your left foot. Just stretch forward into the left hip. And then bring your knee back to a 90 degree, and use your hands if you need to, to walk and support you as you kneel up. You can always bring your left foot to the outside of the edge of your mat. And then Hand, left hand on the left waist, lengthen your spine, and your right hand can point ahead or just bring your right hand to the outside of your left thigh, lengthening your spine as you breathe in and then breathing out, turn towards the left. So you're opening up your left, your left shoulder, breathing in and turning, and breathing in and turning. Come back to the centre and again cactus arms just opening outwards and then breathing out. Bring both hands to either side of your left foot and then tuck your back right toes underneath. Lift your right knee and step your right foot towards your left foot at the front of the mat. Just rest your hands on your shins as you have a flat back lengthening along your spine. And then breathing out, soften both knees. 
and then pressing your feet down as you roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Raising your hands up, stretching your fingers, pressing your feet into the ground and breathing out, lower your hands. And then we're going to come to warrior two, just a very classic warrior two. So step your feet out in a triangle, V shape, and turn your left foot in, your right foot out. Always you can have your right foot, front foot wider than hip width apart. And then soften your front right knee and open your arms, turn your head to look beyond the third fingers, the fingers of your right hand. And now feel that someone is holding your left hand and is just gently tugging you back so as that your body becomes vertical and you drop your weight centrally. Just check that your knee is not coming in and just breathe here in and out. Drop your back left hand to your back left thigh and breathing in, raise your right hand up, looking at the right thumb. You can straighten your right leg if you would like to. And then breathing out. Come back to warrior two. And then take your left hand to the right palm. Draw your left elbow back. Raise your right hand, look at the thumb, and open out to the side. Left hand to the right palm, draw your bow, left elbow high, opening across the chest. Right hand up, look at your thumb, and then open out. Lower your hands, bring your right leg in, back to your original position. As we go to the other side, turn the right foot in, the left foot out. Make any adjustments that you need to, and then come into your warrior two. Again, just check that you're engaging your right foot. If your heel isn't lifting up, just engage the right leg back. Feel that someone's pulling you on your right hand. Turn to look beyond the third fingers of your left. You can drop your weight centrally. And then dropping your right hand to the back of your right thigh, lift up your left hand, looking towards your left thumb. Back to your warrior two. And then bring your right palm to your left palm. Draw your bow by keeping your right elbow high, and then raising your left arm, looking towards your left thumb. Open out to warrior two, right hand to left hand, draw your bow, and then raise your left arm. Warrior two, and then lower your arms, bring your uh, left foot in, lift, and roll your shoulders. And then slide your hands down your legs, hands to the floor. You can bend your um, knees. If um, you could also alter your legs, you can bring your feet in closer if that works for you. And just take an in and an out breath. Feel that your bottom is going back and that you're lengthening along your spine again. Your head is dropped and hanging, it's just relaxed. And take an in and an out breath. Walk both hands over towards the right leg and your left hand holds your right shin or above your right ankle. Your left hand on your your left hand holds your right leg, your right hand goes on your right waist. And just turn to the right, looking up behind you. 
taking it in and out breath. Then just release, come back to the center and walk both hands over towards the left. Your right hand holds your left shin and your left hand goes on your left waist as you open up to the left. Chin tucked in slightly, back of your neck so long, look upwards to the left. And then just come back to the center. Just take an in and an out breath. And then heel toe your feet in so the toes go in and then the heels go in. Soften your knees, press your feet into the ground. And then just roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Lift and roll your shoulders. Raise your right arm, turn the right arm inwards towards facing your right ear. Take your left hand onto your left thigh. Really press your feet into the ground to lengthen your spine and keep that arm and ear glued together as you come over. You're not going to go very far. It's a Tibetan form of triangle. Press your feet into the ground to come upwards and lower your right arm. And then your left arm, turn it inwards to face your left ear. Glue the two together. Hold your right thigh, tummy in, and just come over to the right. Feel that you're between two panes of glass so that you're not twisting and then press your feet down and come up. And then thumbs together, hands up as you sway, swaying palm from one to the other. One side to the other. And come to the center and lower your hands. Lift and roll your shoulders. Place your hands on your waist and just lift your heels. So this is a balance. I'm not doing very well today. Do you feel that you can adjust your feet closer together if that helps? And then gently place your heels back onto the ground. And just release your hands. And once more turn your head to the left as you breathe in. And then to the right as you breathe out. Left. And then right. Come to the centre. Hands together. And then just once more bend down to come back to kneeling. And as you breathe in, cat. As you breathe out, cow. Rounding the chin to the chest, breathing in, cat. And as you round, tuck your toes and come into a soft downward dog. Walk the dog. Just bring your left foot slightly forward. Raise your right foot up behind you. It, then bend your right knee and open its three-legged dog. Just open your knee out to the right and you can optionally look under your right arm. And then breathing out, replace your right leg back down to the ground. Walk the dog a couple of times. And then come to the other side by bringing your right foot slightly forward. Lift your left leg up. And then bend your left knee, almost open your knee to outwards, and then just look underneath your left arm. And then breathing out, lower your left leg. And then come to kneeling. And then you can walk your hands a little bit forward to come to up dog. Looking either ahead or up. And then breathing out, tuck your toes, tummy in. You can slide your hands back a little bit. Come to down dog. 
and then bring your knees to the ground, come to up dog. Tuck your toes, down dog. And then knees to the ground, up dog. And then come to lie on the mat. And your hands stretch out along the mat, just stretching. Just wobble your bottom from side to side. And then slide your elbows back towards you, still keeping the elbows on the ground so that you come into a sphinx pose. You can look down along the floor, along the mat back of the neck then becomes long and just wobble your bottom from side to side that's jelly wobble it becomes a sacroiliac stabilizer and then tuck your right toes underneath so that you lift extend your right heel and lift your right leg just pushing into the right Side lifting your leg, just opening up at the front of the hip, and then release the right leg. Jelly wobble again, and then tuck your left toes, extend your leg, your left leg, your left leg's lifting. Release the left leg back down to the ground, and then just jelly wobble. And then very gently slide your hands towards you so you become almost a cobra and just elbows in to come back to kneeling and then come to a very gentle cross-legged position so we are doing um, a variation on a practice called the five buddhas which is like the five energies and uh, the next thought is that ignorance is the basis of all other afflictions leading, and those other afflictions being and leading to jealousy, anger, and ignorant desire. Easier said than done, I do know. So just hands on your knees, lengthen your spine, and turn to the right, bringing your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you. Lengthen as you breathe in and breathe out, turn to look over your right shoulder. And just stay here for an in and an out breath. And perhaps another in and an out breath. And then bring back to the centre, lengthen your body and bring your right hand to the left knee, left hand behind and turn towards the other side. And just stay here for an in and an out breath. And then come back to the center. And bring your hands to the heart. Just pressing the palms together so it's lengthening you slightly, but you're also working your arms as well and then just release your hands back down to your knees your finger your second finger and your thumb can be in gyan mudra either palms down or palms up and we're going to do some neck rolls so drop your chin to your chest roll your chin up towards the right shoulder and then roll your head back, dropping your chin to your chest, like a pendulum, and then roll your chin up towards the left shoulder. And again, drop your chin towards your chest, rolling the chin up towards the right shoulder. Chin to chest, as you roll towards the left and just once more either side
turn and come back to centre, raise your head up. By this time, drop your right ear towards the right shoulder, chin in, and take your right hand over your head and just lightly touch your left ear. Just stretch out your neck, take an in and an out breath. And then release, bringing your head upright. And then your chin, your left ear goes to your left shoulder, your chin tucks in. Left hand up and over, holding your right ear. Just take an in and an out breath. Bring your head to centre. And just for a couple of breaths, just walk your hands forward. It's hardly a forward bend, it's just a nod to a forward bend. And then very gently come up and come to lying on the mat, knees bent. Feet hit width apart. Hands can either be palms down or resting on your abdomen. Just take a couple of breaths here, relaxing the body into the earth. And just move your head, turning it to the right, back to the centre and then to the left. And do that again, turning your head to the right on the centre and then coming back. To bring your head back to centre. And then with your knees, let both knees drift to the right. Your left hip can lift off the ground. Tummy in, engage your perineum to bring your legs, your knees to upright. And then just let both knees drift over to the left. Your right hip will lift. And just a couple more times, eye to each side, letting the knees sway to the right, lifting your hips. Upright and then to the left. And then again to the right. And then to the left. Bring your knees back to centre and then just check by to see if your fingers can touch the back of your heels. It doesn't matter if they can't, but it's just an awareness of bringing your heels slightly closer to your bottom. Your knees are still hip width apart. And then take your hand and hold with your thumbs on top and your fingers gripping the mat underneath, so hold the mat and just pull the mat towards your feet so your thumbs are moving away from you and away from your shoulders. Check that your head is relaxed, the back of your neck's relaxed, you're not squeezing up. So keep that hold of the mat. Shoulders are dropping away from your ears and your thumbs are really pulling towards your feet. Keep that hold as you press your feet down and lift up your body into bridge. Your chin will tuck into your chest. And then breathing out, lower your back very gently to the ground. Take an in and out breath. This time as you press your feet down and lift up your bottom, see the option is to just tuck your shoulders underneath. You're still holding the mat. You'll go a little bit higher. Chin tucks into the chest. Your knees are going ahead, they're not splaying out. And then breathing out, lowering your back down to the ground. Keep your knees bent, release the grip of the mat. And raising both arms up, stretch your arms up behind you. Stretch your fingers. And then breathing out, lower your hands back down alongside you. 
Hug one knee into the chest and then hug the other knee into the chest. Just rocking very gently from side to side. And then open the knees into a little V and circle both knees in one direction. As you move the tops of your legs in the hip sockets. And then reverse your circle. And then hug both knees into the chest. Still hold them and let them travel away from you to arm's length. Hug both knees into the chest and let both knees travel away. Hug both knees into the chest and let both knees travel away. And last time, hugging both knees into the chest and let both knees travel away. Support your legs underneath to let one foot and then the other foot come back down onto the earth. Press your feet into the ground to lift your bottom and slide your hands slightly almost under your bottom so that when you put your bottom down it's resting on the backs of your um, hands, your thumbs, not the entire hands. It just gives a little lift under your bottom. And then bend both knees in towards you and then both feet up towards the ceiling. This is quite a relaxed movement. You're just swaying gently from side to side. If you feel that this is quite a strain on your lower abdomen, or you feel the need to grasp onto something, you can release your hands and just hold the backs of your thighs. That might give you an added sense of grip. So it's a choice, and then you just very gently sway from side to side. If you've got long arms and you like to hold on to your big toes, then please do that. You might prefer to have your feet out into a V as you still sway from side to side. So this becomes an inversion, and all inversions are very good for rebalancing the hormonal or the endocrine system, hormones within the body. So if you wanted to really rebalance yourself, then you could have legs up the wall or legs over a chair. And then just release and hug the knees into the chest once more, rocking either from side to side or up and down or a combination. So just a free style moving from side to side. And then just placing your feet onto the ground, knees are up to the ceiling and your feet are hip width apart. And just take a hand, I'm going to use my right hand because that's dominant, and just circle your hand around your navel so it's like rubbing your tummy. You can, um, you tend to go one way, it tends to be a clockwise way, but you'll just, all your, you, you've got a lot of organ, um, uh, acupressure points located around the navel. So just rubbing around your tummy is quite soothing for the digestive system. And then let one hand settle on the tummy and the other hand just raising slightly above, I would say to the chest, but it will, your hand will naturally fall below your chest. And just connecting to your breath. As you breathe in, notice that your abdomen expands slightly under your hand. And breathing out, just let that fall away from your hand.
And then once more, just turn your head from side to side. And we come back to the beginning of the class where we thought of uh, a wish, something to wish someone well, health and happiness, something to be grateful for. And just reconnect with that thought, setting it in your intention for the day ahead. And bring your focus to your third eye. Breathing in through, as you, you visualise, breathing in through the third eye. And as you breathe out, just let the breath travel down inside you, taking anything you don't want today through the body and leaving through the soles of the feet. And again, breathing through the third eye. Let the breath travel down, taking anything that's not serving you today and let it leave through the soles of the feet. And then take a uh, colour of your choice. And as you breathe in, breathe in the coloured air of the colour of your choice once more. And as you breathe out, down through the soles of your feet, imagine the breath going to the edge of your body and then breathing in through the third eye, your coloured air, draw it down inside you, anything you don't want. And as you breathe out through the soles of the feet, imagine the breath then travelling to the edge of the world. And then one final time, as you breathe in through the third eye, with your coloured air, travelling down through the body, taking anything that's not serving you today, imagine the breath leaving your feet and travelling out to the edge of the universe. And just notice where you're lying, which parts of your body are connecting with the floor or the mat. And just let those parts relax into the floor, be heavy. And just take a moment to notice any sounds. Sounds outside and sounds inside. And then you can stay where you are. So just take a mental bath for yourself today, for the day ahead. Or you can join me to come to sitting. As I said, you're very welcome to drift off and just relax. Or come to a gentle seated position. And once more, taking a bath for yourself. We've moved through the energies of the five Buddha families, and those energies are Apana, basically um, spine, Samana, going across the navel, Prana, which is the breath or pervading breath, Udana, which is the upward energy going into the head, and Viana, which is all pervasive. So thank you very much, and um, thank you very much for joining me. Have a very lovely day ahead. <laughs>